Greetings fellow MX users. This is M underscore Pav from the MX Linux forums here and I'm responding to user Mike MKR who has accidentally deleted a particular config file for his machine. Let's go and show you what that looks like. So I'm running a virtual machine here so I'm in a safe environment where I can play to my heart's content and not lose anything. I've opened the file manager I'm going to press Control H. Now Control H will bring up all the hidden files and here's a config here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. That's gone just with a single delete button on my keyboard, a delete key on my keyboard, sorry, and it's moved it into the trash folder here. Now the reason we see it in trash is, uh, is because we've got the hidden files displayed. If I go Control H, the trash might look empty. So just make sure that anytime you're doing something like this, make sure you choose to show the hidden files with Control H. It just toggles them on and off. Okay, let's see what Mike might expect when he logs back in if he does. We shall log out and log in again, pretending this is Mike's Mike MKR's account. So and on login, instead of getting the MX XFCE desktop that's been highly refined, we get this very, very default and bland XFCE desktop. And uh, that can be quite confusing, especially if you don't know your way around the um, various MX or various Linux systems. So thankfully it has a trash icon on the desktop. We can double click that. Again, as I said before, the trash looks empty. Control H. We have the .config in here. And uh, if we click on home, we have a new .config there. And therein lies a problem. If we want to restore the system back, uh, restore this complete config back, we have to get rid of this one first. But there's a key that you must be aware of, okay? So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one here. Control CV. I've now got a copy, right? I'm going to delete this one. So I'm going to go Shift Delete because I do not want a copy of this .config popping in here and overwriting this .config. So Shift Delete, and that is now gone. We've only got the config copy one. So we're back to the position we were in before. And now I'm going to go ahead and restore this just by right-clicking it and clicking on restore. And there it goes, it's just, it basically just moves the parent file location out of trash back into its rightful location, and then we can log out. Now we're still showing the hidden files, I'm gonna turn those off again by coming out of here and going Control H, and I'm going to log out. But there's one key you gotta watch out for, okay? When we log out, just a normal click on the demo here, log out, See this here? Save session for future logins. This can have a big impact on what you do. So it always pays to have a .config backup somewhere in your system, even if it's on the same hard drive in the same location, um, so that you can refer back to it in the future should you need to. So I'm going to take that off. That's now off, and I'm going to log out. Right, we have not, we've chosen not to save any configs, right? So I'm going to log in again. and we have the desktop back as it was. So let's go ahead and do this again, but a slightly different way. So back in here, Control H, there's my .config, there's the backup of it. So Shift Delete, gone. I'm gonna here, I'm gonna F2 this one, and I'm just gonna re remove all these. So we've got back what we had before. Rename, oh, can't remember file already exists. It does too, somehow it's been recreated. Shift delete, goodbye, and F2. There's always challenges when you're working with things like this. Okay, we now have that config restored, and we're going to go and log out as we did before. Save session for future logins is not ticked. I'm going to make sure that's ticked. Log out, and we're out of here. Back to demo login. And we've got the broken desktop again. Okay, so how else could we fix it? Now, if, if all is lost and you've really, really messed up, don't worry, you can get back at least the default desktop. Not ideal, but hey, you, get, you, you shouldn't lose any major files, you'll just lose configuration data. And we're gonna show you how to do that now. So, gonna click on Home, 
and we're going to click on trash control H shows that we've got nothing in trash and over here we've got this old config so we have no other copy right not quite right we have actually got a copy in Etsy so we're going to file system and there's our ETC and it starts it starts showing the tree here so the easiest way now is type scale scale as in meaning skeleton press enter and we have what is called the skeleton folder which has many of the settings not all but many of the settings for your default MX desktop control H in here we've got a config so this config can always be used to restore your config I'm gonna go ahead now I'm going to delete this with a shift delete so we've now got no config and copy this in now because we're going from a root controlled folder to a user controlled folder it copies rather than moves so you're very very safe to do this we'll go ahead and close both of these now we shall log out I'm leaving that open at this point log out and log in again so what do you think went wrong there I'll tell you what it was it was that logout option to save the desktop changes for the next login so it looks like we have to do it again right well yeah I guess so um, things are a little bit different here so click on this click on folder we're back at the home folder and now this time I'm going to go control T I mean I can go ahead and open up a second one of these if I like there's a second window there's more than one way to to do this but you can also go control T in this case here which I'll do control T and we get two tabs we get demo here and demo here if I go control H and here they are both showing hidden files which is great and I'm just gonna go and take that path I had before which is ETC SKEL type it into the address bar and we have the same conkey oh the same uh, scale that we had before so we can go ahead now and we can delete this one with a shift delete and then for this scale we can simply just copy it across from one tab into the other drop it into white space and we have a fresh config file back in location we can go ahead and close all those things now and then log out same way as we did before demo log out but this time we're not going to save the session for logins I'm sorry no we are going to save the session log out that bit gets confusing but we'll see how it works now there we go our full desktop has returned okay um, of course this is running live so you get this extra MX welcome you're bound to get that if you do exactly what I've just done now anyway um, which was to take the Etsy scale copy of the dot config and restore that that's okay you can just go ahead and close it because you've already read all these things haven't you the facts and quick facts and questions the user manual the wiki please do make sure you get familiar with what the screen has to show and if you lose it type in here just type WL MX welcome comes up and we get the same screen back nice and easy okay that's enough for me I've probably rambled on too much I hope you guys can make some uh, make some light of all this and that it helps you immensely this is M underscore PAV out.